What's up, Silver Stackers? Hope everybody's having a great day. The Silver Ralph back here, and guess what? We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Hey, we got mail. We have got mail. Uh-oh. Y'all hear that? Hey. Let's see what we got. I ordered, um... Ordered a bunch of stuff off of eBay. So let's see what we got here. Let's see. Ah. Well, I know this is a still silver stacking channel. And I'm going to struggle getting these all out. see here that one trying to come out so as y'all can see this is not silver this is not silver this would be the very very first copper that I actually own and yes being a former referee I would say that I'm tapping out. I'm going to go ahead and finish opening these up off camera. i oh, look at that. It's going to try to come out. And it is not going to work. So, we have two bars right here of copper. Why in the world did I get copper? Well, you see, I have a son that I want to teach how to stack. And I thought, what better way to get him into it than copper? Now, of course, I'm going to put some silver and stuff back for him, but I want him to handle the copper. So this is why I got the copper. It's pretty cool, guys. I've never, uh, never bought copper before. And obviously, I can't get it out of the package. So maybe one day uh, somebody can create a video or somebody can do some uh, teaching for me on how to get stuff out of the package. But we'll try that later on because the ref's gonna tap out on that one. So all right, so there we go. We got two bars of copper. Let's see what else we got. Hopefully, hopefully something that's a little bit easier to, to get out. All right, let's see here. And we're gonna put all this stuff over here. And let's see what we have. You guys love uh, getting mail. There is a... <laughs> I have no idea what I am opening right here. So we're all going to find out together. Hopefully we have a little bit more luck than we did with the, uh, the copper bars there. So I struggled with those. Wow, very nice. That looks a lot better than what I thought it was going to, honestly. And yes, it is so shiny that <laughs> we almost done a face reveal there. All right. One thing I like to do with uh, my silver, especially when I get it from eBay. Guys, if y'all don't know this trick, the little magnet. I love taking the magnet just to make sure that we're legit. If, if we're good, this magnet should come down this silver piece really, really slow. It'll, kind of, it'll stick to it a little bit. There's a little magnetism in um, silver but it shouldn't just fall straight off. So let's try it and see what we get. All right, y'all see that? So here we go again. So 
So some people like uh, fidget spinners and all that to keep them occupied. Well, all I need is some silver and a magnet and I'm good. All right, nice little silver round there. See what else we got. We got some more packages, guys. Let's see what else we got. Now, I've ordered a lot of stuff off of eBay. I've ordered some stuff from my girlfriend, and it's all due at the same time. There is no telling what I'm going to pull out of these packages. I might be very, very, very embarrassed. Uh, let's see. No. This is definitely... This is definitely... Well, it's definitely something. Let's get in here. So if y'all can't tell, this is my very first mail call. Opening these up. Ooh. Very, very, very nice. Very nice, very shiny here. Let's see if I can get it close enough where we can see it. The year of the snake, 2019. Point nine nine five. Very, very, very nice looking bar. All right, guys, so something with the magnet. So any new stackers out there, buy you one of these magnets. You can buy, oh gosh, you get about, about 10 or 20 of them for about 3 or $4. You can get them at your local hobby shop. I think Walmart probably sells them. I got mine at um, Hobby Lobby. Honestly, I probably need to get a little bit bigger one. They were sold out when I went and got mine. I've always just used this one. Now, this should still work even inside the package here. Let's try it. If it doesn't stick to my glove. Let's try it one more time. There we go. All right, guys. Y'all seeing this? Not really coming off like I want it to right there. So I'm going to go ahead and open this bad boy up. We're going to get in there. And I, I do have an extra. I bought a bunch of stuff when I first started. I have some extra one ounce bar holders. Capsules that I'm going to probably put this in unless this falls straight off all right guys see that very awesome that's how you want it right there all right so we've got an ounce silver round one ounce bar we have the we have the two, I believe, let's see here. I believe them are uh, two ounce cop, uh, copper bars that made the referee tap out. No shame in that sometimes. You got to live another day. All right. Here's another one. This one right here was uh, previously opened by the girlfriend she thought that um well she thought she got her stuff and she quickly realized it was not what she ordered and i'm gonna be real honest i hope it's not what she ordered i don't know what she's ordered Thank you. Yes, thank you. Guys, I'm brand new channel. I'd really like if you give me a, a thumbs up. Smash that like button for me, please. 
Also, guys, subscribe. I'm going to work on putting uh, at least two to three videos, possibly more, out each week. We're going to go over different stuff, dealing with silver. I'm a fairly new uh, stacker myself. I've been doing it a little over a year. I've learned a lot of stuff of not to do. And hopefully I can pass that on to any new stackers or, or if you guys have been doing it for a long time, maybe you can learn something from a guy that just started that, you know, going back to the basics. Sometimes we just need to go back to the basics. Um, you know, and for, like I said, for the new guys, hopefully y'all can learn from my mistakes and not make those. And let's see what we got here. Aha. Uh -huh. Guys, I got a real funny story I need to tell. But here's a um, here's another copper coin, and this is going to be for my son. Um, I bought a really generic fake metal Bitcoin one time, and I give it to my son, with my son unknowing that Bitcoin was not a a real coin. He thought Bitcoin was a real coin. I told him, I said, you know, son, here you go. I'm going to give this to you. It's yours. Do you know what it is? It's a Bitcoin. It is. It's a Bitcoin. Do you know what it's worth? No. So I told him to Google it. And he did. Looked it up. Actually, at the time, I think Bitcoin was probably around $20,000 a coin. He looks at his phone. He looks at the coin. Looks at the phone. Looks at the coin. And then all of a sudden, he just starts texting on his phone. Like nothing ever happened. I'm like, son, what are you doing? I'm looking at cars, Dad. <laughs> I said, wow. Looking at cars, I said, man... Now I've done something very bad. Now I got to break it to him that well, this coin is not real. Bitcoin's not a real, a real physical coin. I did, but I broke it to him. Kind of felt bad, and uh, but anyway, it was kind of uh, the face that he made was was priceless. Was priceless. We like having fun like that. He um, has definitely got me back several times over. Let's see here what we got. This is our final one, guys. Fun little game that we can play. Every time I say guys, y'all have to buy an ounce of silver. What about that? That would be awesome. Like, <laughs> don't know about y'all, but I would probably be broke. Wait a minute, what am I saying? I am broke. I do, I buy stuff on a budget. And this is one of my most favorite silver rounds. Let's get straight into them. Yes, we're not playing with these. We are not tapping out. We're going for the win here. My all time favorite silver round right here the Indian head and the buffalo absolutely love this round guys Let's put her to the test I like that I like it all right, let's get into the other one. Should be the same. So guys, don't forget, hit the like and subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. It would make me and my son smile. And if you don't, the government might come to your uh, house and try to take all of your silver. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm kidding. Like, 
The government, government's not coming to your house to take your silver. But I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. Here's the second one. And... And I forgot how to hold onto the, the magnet. I really need a bigger magnet. And there we go, guys. So for anybody, if you're buying, if you're going to buy silver off eBay, okay? All this come off of eBay. If you're going to buy off of eBay, I strongly, strongly suggest buy from somebody who's got a long track record of selling silver. Look at their look at their comments. Don't just don't just go by them having a 100% rating. Okay guys, what I'm finding I'm having issues with I do some Football, baseball, basketball cards. I run into a lot of people who don't pay. And even though they're not paying, there's comments that are telling us that, hey, these people will not pay, but they're positive comments. I don't know if this is because they're leaving it on their cell phone and there's not an option. What's going on? So make sure you read the comments. Buy your silver from somebody you trust. I usually buy from the same people, and it hasn't let me down yet. I bought silver off of Facebook when I first got started. I really wish I had that coin right now. I would um, love to show it to you. It's fake as it can be. The magnet just falls straight off of it. There's several things that says it's a fake. It's an American Silver Eagle. I thought I was getting a good deal. And then I got a fake. So just be careful where you buy your silver, who you buy it from. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed opening this stuff. I had no clue of what I was getting, to be honest with you. I've still got some stuff ordered that's on the way. So we'll be doing another mail call before too long. Hope everybody has a great day. And until I see you in the next video, y'all have a good one. Thank you.